All right, if you need some help making decisions, this plugin for ChatGPT is probably gonna help you. All right, we're gonna talk today about the Decision Matrix plugin, which I'm actually very excited to talk about. Uh, but before I do, let me just tell you what this is and who I am. My name is Jordan Wilson. I am the host of Everyday AI. We are a daily live stream podcast, free daily newsletter, helping everyday people make use of AI, right? There's so much going on. We're not edited. Well, we're, we're not biased. We might be a little biased today. I'll tell you why, but you know, these, uh, AI and fives aren't edited. They're, they're, they're fast. They're quick. No one's paying us to make these. Uh, but I do got to tell you about this one here. So, uh, we actually have Dr. Harvey Castro coming up on our show this week. So, uh, that should be great. Tune in. And why am I telling you this? Well, Dr. Castro actually made this plugin, this decision matrix plugin. Pretty cool, right? Uh, so let's go ahead and jump in and show y'all a little bit of what it can do. So I have other plugins enabled. Always, 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 even if you're going to use one plugin, always give ChatGPT access to the internet. Our favorites, two of our favorites are browser op and box script. So I'm going to go ahead and as you should as well, uh, I just asked ChatGPT, what is the decision matrix plugin and how does it work? So you'll see here, um, this is a great thing to do, especially if you're new to ChatGPT, don't know how plugins work. Um, it's also worth noting to use any plugin, you have to have the paid version of ChatGPT, ChatGPT Plus, which costs $20 a month. So you get access to GPT-4 and all these plugins and uh, advanced data analysis, formerly known as code interpreter. So, uh, essentially it's telling me everything that, can, that it can do. Um, essentially I provide an input it, I, it identifies criteria that's important in the decision-making process. Then it gives me options to evaluate. It gives me a matrix creation, scoring and ranking output in additional features. That's really cool. So what can I do this for? You know, well, instead of me thinking, I always like chat GPT to do my thinking for me sometimes. So just sometimes, y'all, not always. Uh, here we go. I like this. So it's saying what marketing channels uh, should I invest more in considering return on investment? Cool. I like that. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. And I'm going to say, uh, again, you always have to prompt, uh, especially when you have multiple plugins, you have to tell ChatGPT what you want. So I'm going to say using the uh, decision matrix plugin tell me which marketing channels should we invest time in uh, i'm going to say uh should we invest more in for your every day ai.com so we'll actually see here because what might happen and we're going to find out live because i did put a url in and i do have a browser plugin active i'm not sure if it's going to uh, first use the decision matrix or if it's going to use browser op uh, to, to browse that plugin. So let's see. That's the great thing is you can always see what's happening. So it's using uh, decision matrix. And the great thing about any plugin is you can always click that and see exactly what's happening under the, uh, under the, the hood here. So cool. It's going through first principles thinking, uh, Occam's razor, uh, pros and cons. Very cool to see what's happening here. What I'm asking, uh, this plugin, the question. So let's see. So it's saying, uh, pros and cons, uh, for social media, right? Pros and cons for email marketing, pros and cons for PPC. Now it's doing a SWOT analysis for each of those as well. Very cool. Um, you know, I'm, I'm curious, we're not, we're not going to read all of these, but you know, I'm, I'm curious at looking at the SWOT analysis for email marketing. It's something we do a lot. So it's saying, uh, the strengths, direct communication, high conversion rate, weaknesses, deliverability issues, unsubscriptions, opportunities, personalized campaigns, loyalty building, threats, spam filters, GDPR regulations. That's amazing, right? Not only is it giving me all of these different uh, channels, but it's running through a SWOT analysis, pros and cons. It's, it's going through all of these for all these different ones, right? So if I'm really weighing in, how do I want to grow everyday AI? I would have to have a lot of back and forth prompting, a lot of back and forth prompting 
uh, within ChatGPT to get this kind of uh, data, to get these kinds of insights out of it. But the Decision Matrix plugin does a really good job of going through this. Uh, this is very cool. Uh, gave me some um, some YAML here, um, you know, a visual representation. Uh, very cool. It's giving me a summary. Uh, awesome. So now it says, would you like to see the rest of the solutions not mentioned? So I'm going to say this. I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to say, please run the exact same query in decision, uh, in decision matrix. Um, I want to just up. Yep. Uh, so I'm in decision matrix. However, first visit the website your everydayai.com with the browser app plugin and then rerun the decision oh i one thing i don't like typing live the decision matrix based on the data on everyday ai we'll see if this works so essentially i'm i'm gonna I wanted to see if it would do it on its own first. It didn't, which is fine. Uh, that's the problem with using multiple plugins. And if you're not explicit, sometimes it's not going to do it. Um, I was actually just curious if uh, ChatGPT would, would pull the domain and go through and run all this or not. So let's see if it does it now the second time. Perfect. So now you'll see here, it did browser up first. It went to uh, the website, Your Everyday AI, and also it went through Decision Matrix. So now it's much more relevant and cool. So it's, you know, when it's talking uh, about the pros and the cons of social media, it's saying, given the podcast and newsletter format, uh, this is cool. Let's look at uh, one more. Let's look at the pros and cons for PPC, right? So it's saying for PPC, immediate results, especially for specific campaigns or promotions, scalable and measurable ROI. Cons can be expensive, especially if not formalized correctly. So very cool. And you'll see now we're getting obviously different results um, than we were the first time, which I think is pretty cool. You know, I'm kind of comparing them. So after I gave uh, this kind of plug-in pack access to the Your Everyday AI website, uh, obviously the uh, all of the information that went through the decision matrix is is much more personalized and also usable. So that was a lot. Um, if this was helpful. And I hope it was. This is just the AI in five. We try to do it all in five minutes. Uh, so if this is helpful, go to youreverydayai.com. Sign up for the free daily newsletter. Uh, and also, if you like the plugin, join us. Join us uh, on September 28th uh, and talk to Dr. Harvey Castro about the future, um, you, you know, about how AI is and will be used in healthcare, as well as about the plugin. If you like the plugin, tell, hey, come tell us you found us uh, on this AI in five YouTube. Um, and we hope to see you for another AI in five. Thanks y'all.